Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 3 of Noragami Aragoto. And this episode, holy crap, things are really starting to ramp up in this episode. Like, everything just went... Pretty much, because the first two episodes, you know... Like, the last episode especially was like the seeds of doubt were pretty much planted in place. And things are starting to come into place for that one dude, Kuga. And this episode, it pretty much everything came to fruition. Um, it, not all of this was planned, but it did end up happening, of course, because of, you know, Suzuha dying. Um, Yukine found out by chasing Kazuma, and he ends up going to where, you know, uh, Lady Bishman's, um, you know, the area that they live in, her manor. And pretty much what happens is he finds out and... Yukine just goes on a rampage saying, you, why couldn't you protect her and all that kind of, protect him, all that kind of stuff. Do you even care about your regulars? Is it because you have so much of them, it doesn't matter? Family, my ass, kind of thing. All this kind of stuff. And obviously, it's, it was affecting everyone else, which affected her. And right when she was about to take the shot, Kazuma blocks it. With, he makes a line. And that was like, oh, oh, he actually did that against his own master. Another thing is he actually, I'm not too sure about that yet. He said that um, Yato was actually is her savior, not her enemy. So I'm not too sure about that because when everyone was talking, is pretty much the only people that know about what happened with Yato killing her family was pretty much Bishamon and um, Kazuma. So Kazuma knows something. Yato might have not been such a bad guy to her, might have actually helped her, but she saw it differently. Maybe something with the family was bad. I'm not too sure. Probably learn more about that later. But that was like a huge thing. I was like, whoa. That's interesting. What the heck? You know? And of course, he get, um, Kazuma end, ends up getting exiled. Um, after that, pretty much the next big thing in this episode was Yato is with um, Hiyori. And in this episode, there was a bunch of um, Yato Hiyori moments with him blushing and everything. And her blushing after. And it was really cute to see how much, it, um, you know she matters to him obviously you know and in this like everything just went down um that one girl Aiha actually went to attack Yato and it was actually a trap to which um Kugaha pretty much used a bunch of these spiders to get Hiyori Kazuma does come to stop him but he can't even though he can restrain everyone else for some reason he can't restrain him so I, I don't know what's up with that he might be just like Nora obviously has more than one master and that's why um, his name doesn't work when he did it. That's a possibility. That's one of my like something that could be. I'm not too sure. It could be something totally different. I don't know. I still don't even know what his plans are for this and everything. Like why is he doing this? We'll probably learn in the next one. But he did um, pretty much knock out um, Kazuma and he kidnapped Hiyori. So... That was pretty much the end of the episode. Like a lot of things going crazy in this. The feels with, you know, feeling sorry for how Yukine lost his one, you know, his he finally made a friend. He lost him. Um, Kazuma getting exiled and taking, you know, he has to leave. We find out the stuff about that Yato might actually be Bishamon's savior. So I don't know what that backstory is. And then, of course, you know, Hiyori being taken, all that kind of stuff. So many things finally, like, happening all in this one episode. Like, literally, I'm just like, holy crap. I really want to see the next episode. I want to learn more about, the, like, the past between Bishamon and Yato. Like, it's really getting interesting. I want to know, you know, see some... What happened to Kazuma? What is Yato going to do now that Hiyori is taken? What is going on? What is this guy... Kuga has planned why is he doing all of this you know it's pretty dang crazy like seriously such a good episode and honestly I cannot wait for next week's episode it's all I gotta say all I gotta say can't wait because seriously this episode had so much crazy things going on and like everything that ramped up from episode one and two just came and exploded in this episode and the next episode we're just gonna have to wait and see what they have next in store for us but yeah, that's all I really got to say, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And yeah, can't wait for next week's episode, guys. Because seriously, such a good episode. Such a good episode. But yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.